If you've ever needed to retrieve just a few small pieces of management information from one or more remote servers, this tool using Windows PowerShell is an easy way to do it. Now all the remote servers need installed is the Windows Management Instrumentation or WMI service that's installed by default and set to run automatically on most computers. You will need to make sure that the firewall ports are open for it. Generally speaking, that's the remote administration exception in the Windows firewall. I've started by naming this function getServerInfo and I've included a block comment that uses Windows PowerShell's comment-based help feature. So if I load this into the shell and then I run help on it, it'll display a normally formatted help screen that includes a description, uh, how to use the different parameters, and even examples for using this thing properly. There's not a lot in here that you would need to change in order to have it query additional information, but I'll show you how to do that. Let's say that in addition to providing the computer name, BIOS serial number, operating system version, operating system build number, service pack version, and OS and processor architecture, we also want to display the total physical memory that's installed in the computer. Now over here I've done that. I've queried from WMI the Win32 computer system class. And I can see that there is a total physical memory property that displays the amount of memory installed. So to include that information in my output, all I need to do is come right to this location. I'll create a new variable called comp because this is going to contain computer system information. Add the call to get WMI object, providing the Win32 computer system class. Now to keep this nicely formatted in the accompanying article, I'm going to add a little back tick here. That simply allows me to escape the carriage return, but it's important that the carriage return be the last thing on that line. And if I click back up here, I can see that yeah, I don't have any spaces or tabs. The ISE doesn't give you a way of displaying those hidden characters like spaces or tabs. You just have to be very careful. So we'll finish the command by providing the computer name, which will already be contained in the computer variable. So I'm basically just copying and pasting these lines providing a new variable name and the appropriate class name. That queries the information. Now I need to attach it to my output. I'll add a semicolon right here. I'll have this display as RAM in the output and it's just comp and I need to get this property name and the easiest way to do that is to just paste it in. Inside of this hash table I just need to make sure that each line except the last one ends in a semicolon. That way all the information will come together in the right spot. So let's save this and now we'll open up a new copy of the shell. So here in a new copy of the shell I will run import module my tools since that's what I named my module and I should be able to now check for help on get server info and it displays the help. So let's just run get server info and we'll just provide a single computer name and all the information displays properly, including the amount of RAM that's installed, the property that I just added. So this should be a nice, easy tool for you to quickly modify and then even redistribute to your colleagues so that they can use it as well.